hard on myself so i set the standard whichever ball i wanted to bowl i was not able to execute but it happens in the spur of the moment and after that i was fine um just be obviously a lot of hard work goes into what you do so well but you have this ability to just show up rock up and you know and and bowl those kind of balls at the end under pressure Can you just talk a bit about what goes into that a lot of preparation so i I always say that so whenever I practice in the nets I practice each and every situation be it with the new ball be it with the old ball bowling at the dead so if I've done I've ticked all the boxes in the nets so in the match it's all about execution and keeping a clear head so I like to do that so all of that preparation helps me in the matches so if the work ethic is good I think the execution then feels much more easier in the game uh, just speak uh, congrats how difficult or how is easy for you guys to for you to bowl at least 4 to 5 overs out of the last 10 overs or batsmen are generally going to attack you at the death overs how important was it for you to play in the ipl where you bowl 4 overs of total pressure can you relate that 4 hours of pressure to here how did that help and how do you train for that ipl is a little different it's 20 overs this is a one day competition so but yeah you like to play games so you're playing high pressure games so that helps as well but yeah keeping a uh, keeping a clear head focusing on all of that good practice uh, was there in ipl as well we, we we played some tough matches we played till the end so a good good match practice uh, was given to us so very happy with that and the preparation before coming here was good as well hey jasprit um, if i compare this game with england it appeared like typically you know we started also well on a batting and typically it slowed down after 30th we also thought that they will reach 400 today we thought but we stuck at 300 odd so uh, is it like a trend of this wicket and uh, considering this as a yes then how help it uh, you know how it helps to have the second game on the same wicket see as i told you even in the england game with the new ball it was relatively easier the ball was not doing a lot so the batsmen were able to score runs so as soon as the ball got older the wicket also got slower there was a lot of sunlight in the last game so wicket was used so it will obviously get slower and slower so that was the plan for us as well that we knew as soon as the ball will get older it will get difficult to hit and you saw they used a lot of cutters even we learned from that and we knew that as soon as the ball gets old so i think that was the nature of the wicket and that could be the nature of the wickets going forward because if uh, the summer is coming now so the wickets could get drier so it's good practice for us uh, just wait you seem to be making a lot of decisions out there as well talking to ms virat and sort of the, is that just coming on naturally or do you feel like you're the senior guys people have encouraged you to do that not not like that but when i am bowling i like to make um, make my own decision so in in that i am also involved in the game and i have a clear plan so if i have the confidence to execute something so i tell that to the captain or to the senior players the senior players that i think this would work and this could work according to my bowling so i try to do that always i do my preparation i always think about the fields that i could i would want at the end and uh, seeing the wicket it changes a little bit as well just speak in the last few years the yorker has been less in fashion than it was before uh, especially because it can easily be a full toss what is it that gives you the confidence to bowl it in the beginning and the end whenever so i as i told you everything is preparation so i've i do it again and again and again in the nets so the more you do it the better you get decent at it you can't master it you're still still trying to get better at it but yeah it's all about repetition it's like any other ball if you bowl, you've bowled so many length balls it's just like that so you have to do it again and again and try and replicate in the game just with, can you talk about the challenge of bowling in these kind of pitches like, like you said that going forward in the high pressure matches on slow pitches for fast bowlers like you what do you have to mix is it the variety is it the pace i mean the different bowlers like stark you chofra everybody bowls differently like what works exactly so for me i i don't know about what works for everyone for me i just try to keep things simple having um 
uh, analyzing the wicket as soon as possible, reading the wickets. Sometimes you you can run behind wickets, but you don't want to. Every time I focus on the team goal. So what does the team want me to do right now? So I try to focus on all of that, keeping things simple, not to run behind um, the success. I want to focus on the process. I try to do that. So I stay in the present. I focus on the process. And then eventually everything, I take all boxes and then every, everything would be well sorted. Just with two questions. One is, uh, what is the difference between uh, Jaspreet Bumrah, who bowled for India in the Champions Trophy final two years ago, and number two, who has till date handled your Yorkers most successfully? I, I think I'm still the same person. Maybe just three years older or two years older. I don't remember. But yeah, you always keep learning. Um, I always want to keep learning. I want to keep evolving. That has always been my game. So the major difference from that time is maybe I'm playing test matches right now. So yeah, very happy. Uh, the, uh, the progress has been good and still learning. I have not really given a thought. I just focus on the team goal whenever I'm bowling. I'm not thinking who's playing me well. I just, I'm just focusing on how can I contribute towards the team. Just, I just wondered what you made and the team made of the incident where you lost the review, and then did that give you extra incentive as a team to go on and win the game? No, I don't think we we. I was at fine leg, so I didn't know what was the clear scenario of the review. But yeah, we we made a call, and uh, it was it was there was inside edge. But it's it's okay. It was a judgment call. Sometimes the bowler feels that it was close, so he went with his gut feel. Unfortunately, on the day it was not out. Jasprit, sometimes it is uh, really frustrating when the bowler at the other end is uh, leaking runs, and uh, the onus on getting a wicket or stopping the runs falls on you. No, not at all, because I know how difficult it is to bowl, especially at the end. So some days I could give runs, some days some other bowler is giving runs. So you can, you don't uh, you don't try to blame anyone, you just try to help each other, take everyone together, try and communicate, make things calm, don't put extra pressure on the bowler because he's trying hard. Obviously it looks easy, but it is not. So we try, we try and um, help each and everyone, take everyone together and give confidence. Uh, Jaspreet, uh, now that India have qualified for the semi-finals, would you consider uh, taking some much needed re rest for the uh, against uh, Sri Lanka or uh, still playing, uh, 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 still uh, See, uh, topping the uh, group is your uh, no, top priority? I've, this is my first World Cup, so I would play as many games as possible. <laughs> I've, I'm, I don't think I have become an experienced player that I could say I don't want to play some games. But yeah, I, I would always look forward to playing and. The more number of matches you play, you enjoy more. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>